Go ahead. The, okay. My name is Jim Sturdley, and I'm the writer and director of The Stabbing. I've worked in a variety of different genres. Uh, I, I would I would call myself a pretty pretty balanced director in, in, in that regard. Like I've done um, sci-fi, Stabatron 9000, fantasy, Stop or My Mom Will Stab, uh, Look Who's Stabbing Now, uh, One Through the Heart with a Knife, and uh, oh, my children's movie, uh, Uncle Stabby Visits Heart Town. I would say that The Stabbing is a departure for me from my other films, mostly in the fact that really at its core, it's a love story. It's about a man in love with not being stabbed. Uh, I made the, the villain in this piece be a knife holding another knife because that's really what, what the horror genre is all about. It calls back to a very primitive instinct in, in man, uh, fear of, of pointy things, uh, which is why cavemen didn't like the dinosaurs. Because like, what's, what's scarier than a knife? No. Two knives. No, that's not. Does the bear have a knife? It'd be a lot scarier if the bear had a knife. But two knives are even scarier than that. And one of the knives is angry. Well, you know, it's, it's kind of the trend a lot uh, these days for a lot of the movies to use uh, CG effects uh, and stuff like that. And we didn't. We opted not to do that and just do pretty much, uh, you know, all practical effects and, and use real knives. Um, because the CG effect, you know, you see a knife that's not even there on the screen. People aren't going to be afraid of that because, you know, the person's fighting against nothing. And the audience can sense that, but with a real knife, I mean, even a knife on a, on a stick, like we had to, to move around, uh, the audience is going to be like, whoa, that's dangerous, there's a knife on a stick. Someone could get poked. You know, a lot of horror movies uh, are accused, particularly in the slasher variety, um, are accused of... Um, really sexualizing violence and um, I think another thing that sort of sets me apart from other filmmakers is that I don't. I just try to avoid it at all costs. Granted, I mean, there's obviously some, some sex, there's a sexually charged metaphor in stabbing, but I really try to, to do that in a very subdued way. I've always been a bit of a controversial filmmaker. A lot of critics don't like my work. In fact, uh, I remember one Christmas, my mom wrote a scathing review in the family newsletter. Some people are gonna look at this movie and say, isn't this just an hour and a half of the same guy getting stabbed over and over and over again? And I would say to them, have you lived life? Because that's what life is is getting stabbed over and over again. I can't really say, well, uh, let me say this, filmmaking is never easy. It's, it's usually a struggle, but it's, it's what I've chosen to do. So I can't, really, I can't really tell the audience that I hope they enjoyed it half as much as, as I did making it, because you can't have half of zero. I think they pretty much just disappear. Um, if that so they would have to like it twice as much no because that's still zero I just hope they like it <laughs>